Okay, uh, Effigy family, welcome to the first episode of Financial Physical Fitness. Uh, we're going to do the home workout uh, today because it is Christmas, as you guys know, and all of the gyms are closed where I'm at in this small, dumb town. So, uh, what we're going to cover, I'm going to give you guys some financial advice and uh, you guys are going to give me some advice on some of the best workouts I should do. Today is just my, uh, I didn't get to do my workout yesterday because of the, the beginning of the snow, the, the roads wasn't clear. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of everything. Yesterday was just my chest cardio day. Today is supposed to just be my arm arms and uh, ab day so I'm gonna do a little bit of everything because you can't skip days right but I'm not gonna go too hard because I gotta make sure my recovery time uh, get back on track for the rest of the days that I'm not gonna miss all right so what I want you guys to do is help support me and kind in the comments leave uh, leave some suggestions on good workouts to do for next Monday so next Monday like I said every Monday is arms and abs so uh today i'm just gonna do um yeah some some bicep curls from home uh some pull-ups uh some leg raises some v-ups uh some squats and a little bit of jogging or whatever but we'll be back on track for next monday all right so gonna give you guys some advice the first tip is for cpa marketing a lot of people that watch my channel, that's what they want to do, CPA marketing. I'm going to firstly say, <clears throat> if you're brand new, stay away from paid traffic because uh, you have to have those conversions right before you start doing paid traffic. Don't listen to all these channels that's just telling you to set up a landing page with click funnels or lead pages and just start driving traffic to it immediately you want to test that page first uh if you're going to um, use paid traffic in the future you want to test it using free traffic first if it converts well using free traffic send send some people to it you know just have some some random people some friends post it in groups if you have to post in the group suck i know but if it works doing those manual ways you'll know that you're not wasting your money on clicks that's not going to convert. You understand? Pay attention. Don't fall for dumb stuff on the internet, all right? Um, my, my subscribers know me. They know that I'm going to give the real advice. Um, there's a lot of free ways of promoting CPA offers other than posting in groups. So just stay tuned to this channel. You're going to learn a lot. So I'm going to get into... Uh, beginning of my workout as you can see i don't look too motivated but i gotta get it in all right so y'all um, stay tuned and when we get back we're gonna give you a couple tips on uh, seo and then we're gonna close it out with real estate so i might look a little bit more exhausted next time you guys see me but watch to the end and then make sure you comment in the comment section what workouts I should do on Mondays for abs and arms, okay? All right. Uh, in the part one of this first episode, I told you if you're going to drive traffic to a CPA offer, the less risky way to do it is with free traffic. First, and once you master free traffic, then you can experiment with paid traffic because you have a blanket of money that you've already made that can protect you for failures because you're going to fail no matter what they say. They can tell you to put up those uh, $10 a day ads and all of that stuff. But if you don't have the landing page, the links, and all of that proven, because you can run traffic to a perfect landing page, it not be converting and it's because you made a simple mistake of not knowing what type of traffic that offer accepts. Some of them don't accept social traffic or search traffic or whatever. So you need to know everything. You need to experiment and test everything before you start throwing money at it. A cheapest way, like once you started mastering 
the free traffic, the cheapest paid traffic I would use would be uh, using press releases to rank on the first page of Google. I call it paid traffic because you have to pay for the press release, but technically, once it's ranked, you don't have to pay for anything to keep it up there. You know, uh, a lot of them will just stay ranking and whatever. So what you want to do, you don't want to go after national terms. You're not going to go after weight loss hypnosis. You know, the national term is a million SEOs trying to deal with that with a ClickBank offer or some crap like that, okay? <laughs> what you want to do is go get that same ClickBank affiliate offer for weight loss hypnosis, but you want to throw up a press release, a cheap press release, 90 bucks, even a Fiverr press release will work if you do it locally. So weight loss hypnosis, weight loss hypnosis doctors in Boston, weight loss hypnosis in Atlanta, GA and stuff like that. A press release will rank for those type of terms. And that's a good way of testing out whether or not your landing page will work with something more expensive like Facebook or whatever, because it will rank and people that search those terms will go to it. Google traffic is way more uh, targeted and qualified anyway because they came looking for you. They searched for it. So you guys need to be focusing on Google. Facebook is awesome, but that's interruption marketing. You, you're, you're interrupting people while they're posting dumb stuff all day. So you have to be more creative with Google. People literally search it, and if you have it, you should get the conversion. All right, so that was my tip for a CPA slash affiliate. Throw up a press release if you want to test some paid traffic. Uh, all right, so next we're talking about SEO. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a secret. Um, I teach my students client getting methods, a crazy amount of client getting methods because of this. And you know what I'm talking about, uh, the color. A lot of people don't really want to give large amounts of money to me. So I had to become an authority. I had to become desired. I had to become the one that's inevitably going to come to your industry or your niche in your city or town and take over. So you either work from, work with me or you drown out and you go out of business. So I became that. So one of the ways that I teach my students to... Uh, Get clients if they don't have to deal with that type of situation is you would use uh, the interview method so you contact them you uh, contact them and you just say uh, well I have a script if you go to the link in the description I'll prepare the script for you guys so you're just basically telling them you're trying to uh, request an interview with the doctor or the um, plumber or whoever it is and you're going to do an interview on the top why they think they're the top plumber or doctor or dentist um, compared to the other dentists in that area tell them that it's going to be featured in all on, on over 600 news and media sites with a chance to get featured on actual local news and that's not a lie so how that would work is you do the interview with them <coughs> uh, you film it or you have them film themselves being questioned by one of their staff members or you just get them to write a bio about themselves. You submit it with a press release. That's technically all news sites, 600 news sites. And then if their their story is catchy enough, then you submit it to the local news. It's not that difficult to get on the local news and radio. All right. So you tell them that. So you submit it to them. And you do all of that, you can do that for free or you can tell them, uh, you can charge them a small fee or whatever. And after that, they'll have trust, especially when they see it ranking on the first page, they'll start driving in a couple calls or whatever. After that, you'll be able to upsell them to your SEO. So that's one way of getting clients. When we come back, uh, we're going to discuss some real estate, how to do real estate without investing in properties. All right. All right. That is the end of this episode. I just did a, <clears throat> I just did a leg raises, V leg raises so I can get the V cut. I did some uh, Spider-Man mountain climbers 
did a whole crap load of push-ups. I don't even know what they call it. Uh, like I said, if you want to tell me what, if you want to give me any suggestions on what exercise I was doing on Mondays, remember I wasn't caught up, so that's why I did arms and that and all of that. Uh, Mondays is what I do. I do arms. I can't even talk right. <laughs> I do arms and I do abs. All right. So if you have any suggestions for what I should do for arms and abs next week, give me your most difficult workouts and I'll attempt them, all right? And I'm going to have somebody filming me next week so that you can see me actually do what you suggested, all right? So you should follow me on this journey. This is the first of its kind. This is the first financial physical fitness show on YouTube. No, no other marketers, nobody else is doing this. So I'm going to be giving you financial advice while you follow me on this fitness journey. And you're going to be giving me advice on what to do to make a more complete and, and successful physical <laughs> transma transformation. All right. All right. So the last tip of the day, we did CPA affiliate. We did uh, SEO, how to get a client in the last video. Now we're going to do real estate. So. It's quick ways you can make money with real estate without having a license, without having any money. And it's very simple. Similar to a bird dogger, or you, I guess you can call it a bird dogger. You don't need any contracts or anything, but you can make one if you want to cover your ass. No liabilities though, let me explain. So you can drive around the neighborhood, uh, drive around any neighborhood, some of the best looking neighborhoods or some of the worst looking neighborhoods, it doesn't matter. Uh, collect all of the uh, numbers that you see for rent in the yard. If you see it for rent, get the numbers, get the numbers, get the numbers. All right? Then later on when you get home, uh, or you can outsource and have somebody else do that. Do Get a little kid or somebody that ain't doing shit with their life. <laughs> you tell them to go around and collect all the numbers of the houses that are for rent. You get home, you call those people. You tell them you have some people that are interested in renting out of the renting out of the property that they have for sale. I mean, the property that they have for rent. Uh, what are the requirements? And then they tell you the requirements. So you tell them if I can get somebody that fit all of those requirements, and they're going to be paying you blah 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 per month, I would like an assignment fee, meaning. They could give you the deposit. If they charge first, last month in the deposit, they could just give you the deposit. And if that's not enough for you, you can tell them I wanted the deposit plus 100 out of what they're going to be paying you monthly. Uh, chances are a lot of those places wouldn't have been rented out if it wasn't for you. So if they agree, you're good. That's a way you can get money for free immediately. Now, how would you get that place rented out? You can start throwing up some Craigslist ads. You, go, you can go down to... Uh, housing authority stand outside you can go down to a welfare office or have somebody go down there for you uh, go down these are freeways go down to the welfare office and um, hand out the flyers telling people that it's a property that's move in ready if they can get up the money or whatever now those are the freeways now uh, a less a, a way with less effort is to use paid traffic. No, I'm not talking about Facebook ads or whatever. It'll take you forever and you got to be a genius to do it. Phone cut out. Stop recording. Anyway, I'm not going to send you down that journey of Facebook. Uh, <laughs> but if you want to do some paid ads to make this a quick, fast, easy process, I suggest you getting somebody to help you or um, looking at some YouTube videos. Google AdWords isn't as difficult as people think. Put up some call only ads for these terms exactly. Homes for rent, apartments for rent in. So whatever city that is, whatever city, town, or whatever, put up some paid ads. Homes or apartments for rent in. All right, so you start getting some phone calls, you track the phone calls with a software called Call Fire. So you uh, forward the number that you buy, that's three bucks from Call Fire to the landlord's number. And you listen in on the phone calls, and yes, it's legal. All right, so whenever somebody say, yeah, I'm finna come in and uh, fill out an application or whatever, you just track that. And you call the landlord and let them know you know that somebody um, called and they're coming to fill out an 
an application and you will be following up with them. So if they meet the requirements, uh, they get approved, they give them the money, he give you the money, the end. The end. Or you can have it to where they meet up with you, give you the money, and then you give him the money, and then you introduce them later. <laughs> it's very simple to make money with real estate. You don't have to have a license. You don't have to go through all the extra stuff. Uh, you don't have to put any money up. You don't have to rehab any houses. I teach all type of crazy, easy, free strategies inside the trade school, which is in the link in the description. Not going to beg you to go there. Hopefully, you've uh, gained a lot of knowledge from this. Like I said, I want you guys, this is mainly about a physical transformation for me, but I want to be able to help you guys have a financial transformation as I had. So follow me on this journey. There's going to be a lot of new shows on this Effort Job channel because it is a channel. Nobody on YouTube is using their channels like a channel. They're just uploading videos. I'm going to have a lot of different shows. All right? I'm going to have music videos, all type of stuff. So you want to follow Effort Job. You want to subscribe, uh, like, and make sure to comment. Give me your most difficult ab and uh, arm workouts for next Monday, and I will have somebody recording me next Monday attempting to do the ab and arm workouts that you guys give me. Comment that below. Like, share this. Do all of that. All right? This is the first of its kind, so support it. Financial, physical, fitness journey. This is episode one. Love you guys.